I don't know if any of you have heard, but 1-800-Flowers had probably the worst Valentine's Day ever this year. I mean, singles everywhere were actually excited to not be receiving flowers. The flower delivery service promised their customers deliveries by 7 p.m. at the very latest on Valentine's Day, but this is what they got instead. <laughs> Horrible, right? I mean, what flower company would mess up the most profitable day of the year for the flower company? <laughs> When I heard Flowers had the exact same problem last year. The company had late deliveries and horrible customer service. Basically everything they did wrong this year, except without the Twitter evidence. 100flowers.com's Twitter feed received about one complaint mention per minute for most of Valentine's Day, and then about the next three days after. There were hundreds of apology and follow-up tweets from February 14th through the 16th. 100 Flowers felt it would be more efficient if they let some of their representatives yeah, real people take care of it. To show you just how bad the Twitter backlash was, we put together a special Valentine's Day edition of our Mean Tweet segment, brought to you by the folks over at 1-800-Flowers. Lauren, in the payment verification department of at 1-800-Flowers, is an unhelpful bitch who deserves to be fired. Hashtag <laughs> At Yo Girl Loves Lex said, F 1 800 flowers. They f up my order. F 1 800 flowers' new tagline should be F Go to Target. Does Target even sell flowers? At 1 800 flowers. I sent my beloved Derek two dozen roses, and all he got was a bag of dog poop and a note that said, Eat sh Derek. WTF? President thought it would be a good idea to do the hip thing and go social by attempting to create two-way communication between its company and its uh, dissatisfied customers. The company responded to Twitter complaints within a minute and followed up those tweets within an hour. Using this model, 1-800-Flowers attempted to appear more human on social media. But you know, if 1-800-Flowers was so set on responding to complaints over Twitter, they probably should have increased the size of their response team and spent more time actually responding to each complaint instead of sending those poor robotic sounding representatives to send those scripted and horribly unhelpful apologies. But really, 100 Flowers, I sincerely hope next Valentine's Day goes better for you because you'll most likely be spending the year in the doghouse. <laughs>